Darling, where are you? Hi, sugar. Hello, my love. Have you been working out? <gasps> you look so good. In our film, The Sixth Day, holograms are a, a, you know, necessary and very much a part of the future of our film. We're about 20 years in the future or so. And there's something that's very commonplace occurrence are these holograms that appear. For instance, we have a character, Hank, who has a virtual girlfriend that lives at his house. And she's everything that, that you guys have ever wanted in a woman. She's, she's got it all, trust me. But we shot her basically blue screen um, and with motion control and shot her as a complete separate element that we put into this environment. And roll sound, roll camera roll video. Action. First of all, we went and shot uh, Hank's apartment with uh, Hank without the actress in it, so he's acting basically without this imaginary woman. And we would go through the rehearsals with the woman and with Hank, and they would go through all the motions so he would know when to sit down and when you know different things would happen. And then we would shoot him with motion control without the actress. And we could have shot the actress at some other later date and probably made our lives a lot easier. But oh no, we decided to have a blue screen stage right down the street, take the data from one motion control system, run it down the street, plug it into another identical system, and shoot her against blue screen, thus getting all the elements in a very short amount of time. We used video switchers so that we were able to there have a quick composite to see if she's you know, for placement, for interaction, so we'd actually play back the scene with the actor in it, and then with a video switcher, we were able to switch you know, her into the scene and block her out and give her marks on a plexiglass. She stood on clear plexiglass. Give her marks to actually hit, so she, we were actually blocking her acting and her movements to a scene that was already shot down the street hours before. Well, my name's Kurt Wiley, and I'm one of the effects specialists here at VCE, and my job was to try to make the virtual girl as believable and uh, interesting looking as possible uh, for this uh, movie, The Sixth Day. The very first thing we started with was the background plate, which uh, has Michael Rappaport sitting in his uh, chair in the Hank condo sequence here. The next thing we have is the distorted background. This will be... we distorted the background here because this was going to become part of the virtual girl to make it feel like she was not really part of the shot. She had kind of an ethereal quality. This is what the soundstage actually looked like when she was shot. And so you can see they put mirror reflectors on the bottom and lots of other things around. This is like simulating Hank's chair here. So in order for us to make the virtual girl process work, the first thing we had to do was use a green screen garbage mat to get rid of all the extraneous material. So this stage, if you look closely, you can see that now you, there's distortion of the virtual girl in the background and along with the wavy distortion. So that means by the time we get to the final stage, we can see the virtual girl standing here. You can see that uh, she's sitting here with all the distortion of the background. We also have added a glow around her and some other um, subtle touches to try to get her to reflect the background environment around her. For an actress like her, it was very challenging for her to act to a complete empty chair, and it, the scene turned out beautifully, you know. It, it, everyone did a stellar job, and the acting was very good, which is what really sells it, to really believe that this, there's an interaction between these two people, you know, hologram or not. I'm a one-man virtual girl, but if you insert the installation disc... Okay!